right, so Memorial Day is the official kickoff to the summer grilling season. Kristen, how many cookouts did you go to this weekend? I, this is my first. This is it. Okay, so more than 75% of Americans are are burning it up, are setting <laughs> up their barbecues. And Dean Ilacostas, the executive chef at Real Urban Barbecue, is the go-to guy for all the tips and the grill goodies, and he joins us right now on the Fox 32 Plaza. You always know how to do it and you bring it. So thank you for joining us oh, out here. You. And I love this that I'm looking at the spread and you see some things that aren't traditionally what you'd see on a grill, yes. right? We've got fruit, yes. we've got some elotes and whatever those desserts <laughs> are down there that he's made to look like corn on the cob. We're going to talk about that when we get to it. But as Darlene said earlier, you're like a meat and potatoes guy. I sure so am. This is your bread and butter right that's, here. That's what it is. What, which is? Uh, actually, we got a skirt steak with a chimichurri sauce. So it's an Ar Argentinian style sauce. Mm -hmm. We did some some grilled Yukon gold potatoes, some hydro uh, green watercress, and a little mustard vinaigrette. And so what's in your sauce here? Uh, I have cilantro, parsley, I got some bell peppers, which necessarily isn't traditional with chimichurri, but I like the color and I like the flavor. Uh, some sliced garlic, we got chili flake in there, and we got some uh, nice red wine vinegar and some olive oil. I love how you're jazzing it up and you're willing to share the recipe with all, all of us at home. But let's talk about the corn and the yes. corn. Yeah. I, this is the first thing I saw and I'm like, you had me at hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about so our that traditional one. Mexican corn on the cob. Uh, okay, so you know we cook it on the grill, we cook it in the husk, so this way it steams really nice. Mm -hmm. We take it out of the husk and then we just she can't exit. Wait. And we, I love the grill marks that you get on yep, it. Yep, we toss it on the grill marks. We hit it with a little bit of lime juice. We put a little bit of our mayonnaise on there, our cheese, and a little bit of paprika for color. And you're known for doing the unconventional things on the yes. grill. Look at this yellow water. Totally line. fat free, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's no, yeah, no calories. Throw it on the grill. Yes. A healthier option if you're looking for that this weekend. <laughs> Okay. Well, the great thing with the fruit is that. What you do with that? that? Here you go. You well, try that. I'll try that. Okay. We just grilled it. Um, it's, it's a yellow watermelon, which isn't that traditional that you're not going to see. The yeah, yellow yeah, watermelon yeah. has a little apricot, a little honey flavor to it. A lot of people mm. put salt on their watermelon, mm. so we substitute feta cheese because it has a lot of salt content in gotcha. there. And then we added another dimension by just putting a little bit of balsamic glaze on there. So we got that sweetness, we got a little acidity, we got the saltiness, so it really goes really well. That's oh. very good. Did you get? Do we got the desserts? Is that what we have left? This this is one, and we got to get that one yep. there. Uh, this one here basically is our corn on the cob, our version, uh, dessert-wise. Uh, so basically, it's our three of our cupcakes. Uh, we make a nice yellow frosting out of buttercream. Uh, we put our jelly beans on top to make it look corn on the cob. And so these are like cakes? Th these are little burgers, but it's all cake. And then all the uh, frosting that you see there is all buttercream that we uh, dye. And I feel like I'm at the nightclub because we have Jose on this turntable. <laughs> no, Jose was back there on the grill. Can we get a quick shot of just, I mean, because you say, I mean, in quick, cooking the right steak. Because yes. if you're going to do it and you're going to invite people over, you better have that. Here's Jose. Oh, look come on in. Jose, come on in. Here we go. Christian's going to try it. I want some of the sauce on it. She's got to have that go. sauce on it. And like I said, and, 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 and Chef Dean, he always, he brings it every time he comes. And we just love how you're doing this with the sauce. Because it. some people would say, though, that if you have to throw a sauce on it, throw something, that's like an insult to the chef, but not to you. Well, this is great because just with the skirt steak, any fattier, richer piece of meat, that's where this sauce really, really excels itself. Okay. It's not going to really go with a leaner piece of meat. And that you've got now how many fabulous. seven locations we're here? Uh, I think we're getting close, but we're working on our fourth one that's going to open in a couple okay, of weeks. Okay, he's got 50 locations out there. The real <laughs> urban barbecue. By the time he's here next year, he will have to But you're always at which location, though? Um, I'm at actually all of them, but I'm in Oak Brook a lot. You'll see spread, me in Oak Brook a lot. He spreads the love. If Randall people want more man. information about how to do the elote, how to do the watermelon, because this was amazing. So good. I've never had yellow watermelon where do you on the find grill. The, the yellow watermelon? Uh, it, you know, it's not that conventional where you're going to see it in a lot of different stores, but I mean, Specialty stores, you will find it. Come on, Kristen. This is Chef D. Or you just call me, and He's I'll get it. He's got a guy. He's got a guy. If people want more information, where can they go? Uh, you can go to uh, Real Urban Barbecue. Uh, we are in Oak Brook, Vernon Hills, Highland Park, soon to be in Skokie. Uh, so come on I down, come you. visit us, and uh, you'll see a lot of the things that you see today. 50 locations, <laughs> and Jose and the crew will be with them. We're going to take a break. Eat